Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat Life back with another video. In this video, we're going to review Bike Rush. Bike Rush is a ride to earn health and fitness dap. Use equipped with bikers, move outdoors, and earn tokens. Uh, a project aims to inspire millions of people to pursue a healthier lifestyle. So, basically, this is for bikers, for people that have push bikes. And by the graphic here, it's pretty obvious what uh, this project is about. Okay, so to have a bike, you need a bike to, 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 to make this work, okay? So let's roll that intro and let's get into the specifics of the project. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification so when I upload my latest vids, you can get notified immediately. I just want to say, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just basically showing you reviews on certain projects and you guys can then you know take it further and do more research not every project that i review is a pitch it's in fact most of the stuff that i talk about is just educational stuff to bring awareness for you to learn more about crypto other channels might do just every video they do it's a pitch not this channel so bike rush at bikerush.io agreed with this and you can download the app. Now you do get a bike, a free bike, I believe. Now I tried to, uh, I actually did go to these uh, links. Uh, this one here, obviously, Google Play, because I've got an Android. And I tried to download it, which I did download the, um, the app. So it is on the official Google Play store. So that's always a good thing. I did download it and I did open it up. But when you get to the opening screen, it gives you two options. And uh, it says log in by email and then log in with the verification code uh, with the Connect Wallet Connect. The email is only able to be logged in if you've already got an account, if you've already created an account. So you can't log in with the email option because you have to create it first. So the only other option is to connect. And I tried using that, and then it uh, you need to create your uh, passphrase which is usually 12 words. So I did that. Then it tells you to get an activation code. This is where the problem is. You need to get the activation code from uh, the Discord. So it's similar to Step and they, you know, they give out activation codes. They just limit the people coming in. However, I haven't been able to get an activation code, so I haven't been able to show you inside the app. Apparently, you get a free bike. Maybe if I do get an activation code, I'll show you further. There's always Pursuit the Road. Let's change the environment together. Travel the distance, you can. You have to repair your bike. You know, same old, like, very similar to Stepin, right? Your performance, maintenance, control, and luck, right? So, yeah, look, the mechanics behind this is exactly like Stepin, almost to the T, <laughs> but it's just in a bike form, okay? So not much uh, innovation going there, I'll, I will say. So co-founder... These co-founders, they basically just took Steppen, in my opinion, and just made it a bike version. Maybe they're bike heads, I don't know. But there's really, there's not much forward thinking or innovation here, sorry to say. FAQ, what is Bike Rush? It's a fitness app. There's an airdrop, so there was already an airdrop, forget about that. Users, uh, can get the reward tokens uh, open by Crush app, start writing real life and daily energy is awarded depending on the number of bikes. Functions of Bike Rush. There are four abilities for each bike. Yep, went over that. Performance, high performance, better BST, rewards, luck, determines the likelihood of packages, acquisition, maintenance, yep, repair, controls of ride quality, so on forth. There's two tokens, which we'll talk about in a second, and then the bike rush part box used toward randomly depending on the luck attribute. Okay. That has to do with maintenance. So, uh, pretty clean website. Um, pretty thorough. I mean, well, it's very simple. And I guess it's all directed towards getting it out. I think they should just remove the uh, activation codes. Or have an activation code for like 
10 times, but each activation code is just once, can be used once. I will say for new people coming in, it does create urgency, and it is, but it is also a flip side that it, it frustrates people. Emotional damage! And people just get annoyed and just leave. Because you could, that would happen with Stepan in the past, where, you know, because Stepan was the first and the biggest, you, people would wait around for it. But now there's so many of these coming out, they're just going to go, ah, oh, screw this. Unless they're like a bike head. If they're not into bikes, they'll just say, that's it. So let's have a look at the white paper. I want to tell you this, like, I'm not impressed about the uh, mechanics. It's pretty much exactly like Stepan, in my opinion. They have this two token economy. The BST is like the GMT, uh, excuse me, the GST. So it's unlimited. And then the governance token, which is BRT, this here, BRT, this is the uh, GMT or the bike rush. So BRT, this is their token that is um, uh, basically on the exchange. Oh, well, on crypto coin gecko, right? So this is what represents the project, which is the governance token. The other one, I mean, they're both liquid. Okay, so both of these are liquid. Uh, you can you can earn this BST and sell. So you can see pretty much exactly what's happening. I mean, there's not even many players in this. On the app, it said there's like 500 users for Android anyway. That's not in counting the, the Apple users. It's only like 500 plus downloads. So as you can see there, like we saw with GST, it's already going down. People are selling. And if we go have a look at the official bike rush token, the governance token, that's three cents. It's going down as well. Looks like people are just selling. This one here is obviously the one that this 19 cents. So they're earning this and they're just selling it. The good thing about this is apparently the bike's free. So, you know, like I said, once I get my activation code, I'll, I'll, I'll um, activate my app. It's actually see if I can earn these tokens at 19 cents. That'll be interesting. So again, same deal, right? It's like step pretty much exactly like step it. how to play um they don't have anything there bike parts maintenance control like i just talked about for bike type okay so this is interesting this is the bike type so the type of bike that you have very similar to uh, step in the sneakers allows you to go to the um different speeds i guess and the attributes of performance will determine a lot as well performance determines the riding earnings there you go so the higher the performance so these will be the attributes within the actual when you get the bike and the performance the higher the performance the more the riding earnings so that's, this thing's paying 19 cents let's have a look here so like i said before bsd this is earning 19 cents currently i would be keen to get my free bike and then just start riding and who knows uh if i make 10 of these 20 of these, 30 of these, 40 of these a day. It's still 20 cents there. Might not sound much, but for someone that uh, is in a third world country, that does not make a lot of money. This is big money to them, okay? All right, so you gotta, you gotta keep that in mind too. A lot of uh, third world countries, especially in uh, Asia, Africa, or Central America, this will appeal to them because, you know, they're making, I'm not disrespecting anything, it's just a fact of life that a lot of these countries, third world countries, uh, they're lower, the standard of living is much lower. They earn much lower every day. So to earn two to three to four dollars a day is um, what they normally earn anywhere, US dollars you know, a day. So, you know, this could be something for them. I'm just actually just putting it out there. Um, anyway, so you got the performance, maintenance, control, lock. The bike renting is not um, operational at the moment. So we're going to talk about that. NFT acquisition, salon acquisition. Once the DAP is released, limited edition bikes, riding gear, NFTs, Credit, partner with various projects, okay. That hasn't happened yet. So through the bike app, you earn the BST token, yes, which we've talked about, which is this, is 19 cents. Every time you ride, by the means of your bike NFT, so you're gonna get a free NFT, remember this, okay? The amount of rewards you receive depends on the BST statistics. Okay, we talked about that, which was the you know, attributes, um, the performance. The BST game tokens are used to overall services such as equipment, replacement, maintenance, recovery, and lucky draw. Okay, so we get that. So this is the in-game token of BST. You have to you know, a very similar step. You have to repair your sneaker. You have to do all the in-game tokens, what they call maintenance, recovery, luck, blah, 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 blah. The bike rush NFT, a cycling equipment in the metaverse world. Bike rush is unique design. Each NFT riding equipment performance. Yep, got that. 
Uh, let's see, where are we now? We got the DAP. Yeah, we understand that. Benefit. Gamification. Asset. Light. Bycrush does not require people to possess NFT assets to write it out. On the contrary, it can be rented for free. And for other users, initial use can be income distributed later. Zero threshold. No need to learn of learning of use of decentralized wallet. You can start while earning writing the really first step of non crypto digital assets. Yeah, this is this zero threshold is important. Don't forget, we're in the crypto space. We know how these wallets work. We know how MetaMask works. We know how to sell exchanges and decentralized exchanges. But people that come into crypto, they have no effing clue. So basically, the introduction to crypto is this you know, write your 12 words down and you can start. <clears throat> and they'll figure the rest out later on how to get that money out. So this is on the BSC chain. Collecting small amounts of tax from the DAP activities. Okay, carbon neutrality, just buzzwords and carbon neutrality means jack. So this is it here. See, so the BST, which is this, has an unlimited supply, which is currently 19 cents. And the BRT, which is this, the bike rush, official bike rush token, this has 5 billion. So Steppen has 6 billion for GMT. They have 5 billion. Uh, Step app have 5 billion. They're kind of like taking a leaf out of Steppen book, if you want to say it. So this is it here. See, this government tells you straight up exactly what it does. Two token economy, okay? Tokenomics, okay. So this is the tokenomics. You purchase the NFT. Now I believe it's I believe you get a free NFT. This is look, um that's what I heard, but I mean, I don't know. If I'm wrong, just comment below. Uh I haven't made a point of it. Um like I won't put it a blast or all on the, the thumbnail or anything. This is just what I've heard. Again, I haven't been able to get an activation code, so I, I, I can't tell you otherwise 100% um, fact that it is free. But this is what I've heard. Okay, so, um, which would be good. If you've got a free bike, I mean, even if it was a low-level bike, wouldn't, like that would be still be good. Purchase NFT, so they've made an error here. Purchase, purchase NFT. So it's just a you know, simple mistake. You ride the bike, um, the DAP embedded trading market, and then you got the rent, 30% of the rent and 70% goes to the owner. I think this renting is a good idea. And then you can sell the BRT. Again, I'll have to get into the app because I'm, I'm not sure whether they're gonna allow to withdraw the, the BST that you earn. Um, if they can't, if you can't withdraw it, then you can't sell it. Like if you can't withdraw it out of the app to MetaMask, then you can't sell it because this is on PancakeSwap, right? There's liquidity on PancakeSwap with BST. But again, I'm assuming that you can because because people are selling. Again, you know, people could just be buying and selling outside the app, but I'm assuming because of all these sell orders, look, I'm going to always sell, 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 sell. There's hardly any buys. I'm assuming that people are earning this in the app able to somehow they enabled it to extract the BST out of the wallet. They send it to their mana and then they can sell it instantly on pancakes well make money. Okay. So that's what I'm assuming. But if you've got a free bike, if that's the case, then you can ride for free, earn this BST, take it out of the wallet, take it out of the game, sorry, send it to your MetaMask wallet and then sell it on pancakes well for, for cash. Now, there's a lot of assumptions there. So again, once I get the app going, I'll um, I'll know for sure. This is just a token burning. Okay, so the token burning, um, BST and BRT token burning, probably does not make a lot of sense at the moment because token burns, are, they don't work, they only work a long term. They don't work short term. We've seen this with uh, Binance. Binance have been burning uh quarterly burns for the last what three years and it hasn't made a real big difference okay it, uh, token burning is like a buzzword only long term it works not short term and this is the total supply five billion or halved every three years okay so this is a good thing so they're going to halve the uh distribution so this again this is another way the projects use to limit the uh i guess the 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 amount of uh, tokens that go into the market. We saw this with Helium, with HNT, and also, um, you know, with their uh, earning. So they, they basically halve the earnings. 
In fact, they take this is a leaf out of Bitcoin. Every four years, every 10 minute block, there's what they call a Bitcoin halving, right? So this is what the Bitcoin halving is. They've just taken a leaf out of that. And it just means that um, that every 10 every 10 minutes the the reward for miners is halved uh, every 10 minutes um, every four years excuse me every four years for Bitcoin it goes every halves every time so it, it just basically puts less uh, it's a way of controlling the inflation I mean, Bitcoin has a low supply anyway so it doesn't you know that works. But here there's 5 billion. So this is not going to really work unless there's millions of players. Yes, it will work if there's millions of players. Um, and then it goes to the governor's 2% of trading fee will reserve for the team's daily operation. 5% of the trading fee will be given back to the Black Russia ecosystem. Carbon offset means jack. This is a little bit about Harry Lee. You can read on that. Ross Hammersmith. So props to them for putting this together, but I just don't think that they have. They've basically just taken Steppen and just made it into a bike version. That's, in my opinion, that's what they've done. They have not innovated, and uh, I don't like it when they see this because uh, you know, any monkey can do it. Now, obviously, it takes a lot to, to put a project together like this. But it, it doesn't, it, there's no innovation. They're just copying something that's already made. We've already seen Steppen. We don't want to see Steppen again, right? Even if it's in a bike form, the mechanics are the same. We want to see something new. Okay, so that's my message to the founders if you're watching this. Innovate. Don't just do the same old shit, okay? So there are my thoughts on Bike Rush. Again, I'm not getting sponsored for this. This is my own thoughts. Get rid of the dumb ass activation code. It just pisses people off. Emotional damage. You're not a stepper. You just knew. Get rid of the activation code for now. Once it gets to 100,000 users. Yeah. Okay. Then then use a stepper. But shit, it's just irritating. All right, guys. If I get an activation code, I'll give you an update on the inside of this thing because I haven't seen the inside. If I don't get an activation code and I just get pissed off, well, I'll just forget the project. So there you go, owners. Listen to the community. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.